god, there's so much noise. It is way too hot here in Washington right now. So what I am doing is I have the the windows open because it's so hot. I turned off my fans. I'm trying to get through this review as quickly as possible. It's so hot that I I didn't even do my regular intro. Um, hola amigos, I am here to do a review video. It's been a minute since I've done a review video. I used to do them all the time and I don't know, I just sort of decided not really to film a lot of them. So. As you guys know, I am absolutely mask obsessed. So I got this Tree Hut Skincare Exfoliating Mud Mask Detoxifying Charcoal right here. And this came, I believe, in my Walmart beauty box, which if you guys want to see that video, I'll go ahead and link it down below. If I don't and I forget to link it down below, go ahead and look at my past videos. You'll see it there. I actually looked up three different pricing options for you guys because this is predominantly, I guess, at Ulta. This is the 0.7 ounce, so this is a deluxe sample size. The full size is 2.9 ounces, and that is what the retail prices will reflect. So at Ulta for 2.9 ounces, $14.99. At Walmart, it's $11.24, and then also on Amazon, $11.24 with free prime shipping. So you can go ahead and get it at Walmart and uh, on Amazon if you want to get it for a little bit cheaper. So going on to the actual description of what it of what it claims to do. So let me just go through this really quick. This multifunctional mask has an exotic black sand that preps skin by removing dead skin cells while charcoal, kaolin, and betonite, betonite draw out impurities and excess of oil, excess oil to help bright and dull looking skin. Kaolin draws out impurities, excess oil, and pollution. Bentonite helps tighten and cleanses skin. Aloe hydrates and helps heals the skin. And charcoal attracts impurities for deeper cleansing. This is free of parabens, formaldehyde donors, petroleum, phthal phthalate, blah, blah, blah. All those keywords that probably don't really mean much. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and give this a try for you guys. Before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to tell you now that I am going to exfoliate with my Peter Lamaz Exfoliating Pumpkin Facial Scrub. This is my favorite facial scrub it smells absolutely amazing and yeah this is just a little sample size but the full size is about 21 dollars which i will go ahead and invest money in because i absolutely love it okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like i have here my little silicone brush that i have here used from that i've been using for masks i actually got this off of ebay for a dollar you can go ahead and get that on there for a dollar shipped okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and again i have done this before so this is not a first impression just FYI. I love the smell. It might smell a little bit grandma-y, I guess, like, but it's like, I don't know, it smells like refreshing for some reason. There is up close. I don't know if it's going to focus. Let me go ahead and just show you guys. I'm going to take a dip and then just go like this, just so that you can see the consistency of it. It's a little bit hard, so you have to like work it a little bit and you can see the sand in there. Let me go ahead and give you guys an up close. There's that. So let me go ahead and I guess swatch it. But you guys can totally see the sand in there. This stuff dries super quick so I'm gonna go ahead put this on my face and then I will come back with an update. Alright I wanted I totally forgot that it dries so fast so I wanted to come on here and just uh, show you how quickly it dries. As I'm applying it you can see that the edges here are starting to dry. It says here that the directions say apply a thin layer on clear skin and cover face completely. I'm not going to do it completely. Leave on until it begins to subtly crack. So it doesn't take much. So I'm just doing it in my problem areas as of right now, which right now is my chin, my cheeks, and my forehead. So as you can see, it's drying very, very, very fast. So let me see here what time it is. It's about 2.26 right now, so I'm gonna come back with you in about 10 minutes to see where we're at. All right, 10 minutes has passed. It's 2.36, and I still have two patches here that need to dry up, but this is pretty much what it looks like when it's dried up. It's like a ashy gray with a little tint of blue. It can totally crack, so you can see. Let me do a close-up real quick. Can you see the cracks? There it is. 
those are the cracks that they're talking about. I can barely move my mouth because this is holding this in place. This is holding this in place. So my range of motion on my mouth is very limited. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to wait for these patches to dry. And then I'm going to wash my face and then give you a almost lightweight review on it. All right, it's about 2.45 right now, so it's been about almost 20 minutes, and it's pretty dried up, and as you can tell, there's some cracks here, a little bit of cracks there, so it is time to wash this off, so let me go ahead and wash it off. Alrighty guys, I am done and washed, and I will say that I actually like the way that my skin feels afterwards because it doesn't feel too dry. Some mask, as soon as you take it off, you feel like you just have to moisturize right away. But this actually, you can like chill for like a second and like not have to worry about your skin feeling like it's like stuck and like crackly. It actually hydrates your skin very well, which I'm guessing that's what the aloe, when I read in the description, one of the claims that it has is aloe to help hydrate your skin, so that helps out a lot. It took a little bit longer to dry. Anyone strapped on time, probably not the best mask because you have to wait for it to dry, or you can put a really thin layer and it dries up right away. So yeah, I actually really like this mud mask. I have tried multiple mud masks. The different thing about this is that it does have that sand to exfoliate so it helps out so when you do put it on your skin you can scrub it a little bit before it, before you start having it set and dry so that it helps so that it clears up your skin a little bit and then it also sets in as far as all of the detoxifiers so it's pretty cool. It's hard to find a mask that I don't like so yeah. Again uh, I'll go ahead and link link this down below in case you guys want it. I hope you guys like this review. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, go ahead and click the red subscribe button. It would totally make my day and I will see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, just FYI, I do have a second channel, or second channel, it's linked down below at all my videos. It's just random adventures that I do go on as well as just random everyday life. And yeah, if you want to follow me on my adventures, go ahead and click on that link down below. Alright, I will see you guys later. Bye!